the explosion of data, Dave, we're talking about, you know, they're talking things in zettabytes, and they're actually keeping a stat uh, of the, all the data stored since 2010, um, and we're in the zettabytes. I mean, we are in an explosion of data, data from users, data from machines. We're living in a data error. Yeah, we heard uh, 1.2 zettabytes, and Joe Tucci told us a zettabyte is a billion trillion, or a trillion billion, however you want to look at it. The interesting thing to me is he showed a slide, EMC's first high-end disk array symmetrics was 24 gigabytes, right? What's, what's your iPhone? <laughs> you know? I mean, Double that. The scale of data is going to require uh, the performance levels and the software to change. They got to get the data faster. They got to store more data. They need to do all kinds of intelligent things. We saw some of that from EMC, where they got all kinds of software policies on data storage, accessing data. I mean, it's massive task. I mean, the competition, 66 hours to back up a normal workload, one cluster. Yeah, they got to store it more efficiently, but also it's really hard to move. This is where I think the Hadoop movement is really has it right. Their, their idea is to leave the data where it is and bring the code, bring five meg of code to petabytes of data instead of trying to bring all these, this data through the pipe. And I think that's the new model. And, and, and the thing was, what I see is a renaissance back to software because at the end of the day, the machines are, are getting more powerful. Pat Gelsinger comes from Intel, he knows that. You're going to see packaging simplify and you're going to see the software model come back where intelligent software is going to work on the data. Yeah, I think you're right. It's actually, it was interesting to hear Marco Pacelli yesterday talk about how finally EMC is catching up to where he as a software vendor is. And so, yeah, I think you're right. I think the software is the key to extracting the value out of data. B data in and of itself has no value. If you can extract information and turn it into value, and that's how software plays. I wrote a blog post, you know, smart data is about fast data. If it's fast, it's smart. If it's slow, it's dumb. People who can't get at the data fast enough will lose out, and that's the key to success, is leveraging the data and basically turning it into an advantage, whether it's solving cancer or creating business value. So data is critical. Yeah, and, and you're right, real time or near real time, everybody talks about that. But everybody's talking, but we're still not there as an industry, right? Even Hadoop and Cloud Era, they're not really real time, and that's really the next big challenge. Instead of looking back in the rear view mirror, how can we actually make real time decisions? We saw a little bit of that with uh, with Max. He actually had Brian Gallagher, the voice of Brian Gallagher, the, the president of EMC's high end division. He was the computer behind Max talking about fast, but you know, fast is not real time. It's actually, you know, sort of a batch process. So real time is the next big challenge, and nobody's really doing it today. I love EMC doing this event in New York City, basically in Times Square, where they have tons of people packed in. It's got a lot of a flair. It's a great event. 41 new products in one day. It's a record. Well, like I say, EMC's always been good at marketing, and they've really just raised the game. It's, you know what's interesting to me? Jeremy Burton was out here, what, two minutes? Right? But this whole event was Jeremy. Yeah. You know, he put his, he's put his thumbprint on it. So. You know, and Joe Tucci and Pat Gelsinger are totally playing ball with the messaging. It's a really fantastic cohesion. Great to see EMC management really coming together, totally on board with the messaging. Well, you saw Pat Gelsinger joke tongue in cheek. Well, now maybe we can get rid of Jeremy like we get rid of tape. So that's kind of funny. And uh, because Pat was up there telling all these sick, you know, funny jokes or, or foolish jokes. And, and it was good. They all had good fun. The audience was laughing. You know, they, you had Bubba, what's his name, the evil Knievel guy, jumping over these VMAXs. That was hilarious. They had the contortionist jamming into the Mini Cooper. A lot of fun. The world is changing. EMC's changing. We're here in New York City. Dave, take it away.